What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Ravnica Allegiance draft. We're going to do my Magic Online today because you guys in the in the YouTube comments are like, I don't know, I can't really follow Arena. I don't like it as much as Moto. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll do on both. Because <clears throat> I don't think any I don't think any Arena viewers mind Magic Online, but a lot of Magic Online viewers mind Arena. So I feel like we should just mix it up a little bit. I do want to get more familiar with Arena on with for, for more familiar with Arena. Um, but I don't want to like alienate anyone who just likes the Magic Online videos, so we'll do that. Denmark, what's going on? Super Fritz. All right, so <laughs> here's another thing I thought was funny: the Ravnica Legion's competitive draft, 300 players. Intermediate Swiss draft, 2,600 players. Significant difference. Let's join this dude. I don't have any... What's a better value? What are packs going for? I just want to make sure I'm, I'm saving the absolute... Oh, packs are only like 290 So we can actually buy three packs for nine. And then it's only 11 with the two tickets. So it's actually a better value to do that. John Darnielle, MTG Performance Room. I have no idea what that even means. I don't know what those words mean in that order. Yeah, like actual people being drafting, I don't think that matters at all. Like I think everyone who thinks that makes a big difference, uh, and it's been like a handful of people, not a ton, but I feel like everyone who thinks that makes a big difference, like you're competing with like the top 32 players in Magic, right? Like Seth Manfield, you know, Ben Stark, I, I, you know, I don't know who they are. I don't know who they are, okay? But the point is, all of those people are fine with it, right? And I feel like anyone any like anyone who's not <laughs> of that caliber, if you have a problem with it, you're probably you're probably making a, a bigger deal than it is. That's really what I, I'm, I'm what's really what I'm thinking here. Man of War Elves, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Frequent YouTube viewer, I appreciate all the effort you put into you uploading your videos so quickly. I thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Okay, well, I keep getting my trades to decline because I guess I'm not quick enough. Kerwit, one frugal Frank buck. <laughs> Access denied. What's going on, buddy? Um, I did not respond to your email yet, but uh, let me know what other day works best for you. If I have 30 sword tickets, can I take other things instead and then take the remainder? Or no? Please take tickets only. Okay. 10, 20, 30. Check two. Heart you one year. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. One whole year. You guys are great. Ladies and you ladies and gentlemen are wonderful. Uh, I don't have a problem. It seems good for the goose. Bots seem to... Yeah, it's just like... I feel like the upside of drafting against bots, like the fact that like you don't have a time limit, it's better for newer players. Um, like I, I think signals are... I'm going to be honest with you. I think signals are overrated in drafts because you it's like bluffing in poker. Like it's a great strategy if you can get it to work. But if you're bluffing against someone who doesn't know they're being bluffed, you're actually going to have a, a, a worse experience. What is this up here? 150, 167? What is that? 1 out of 67, 1 out of 56? What does that mean? Premium card odds, approximately 1. In, is that a foil? So 1 in 67 packs has a foil? Interesting. I have no trade. Oh, God, I'm the worst at this. I am the absolute worst at this. Thank you. Daddy Q with the resub. One year and one month. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, where where are we, where are we packs at? I'll get four because I feel like we can probably go two one. I'm good to go. What is this video? The Mountain Goats just played a streamed concert at Watsi headquarters. And I know, what is what is what? What even, man? What even? What even is magic right now? It's really weird. All right, let's do it again. Single this one. Intermediate switch draft. All right, you guys had to go through all of that in the YouTube video, but I think the com the commentary and the content was was worth it. So, 
if you guys don't like it, you can fast forward to right now. You wouldn't know to fast forward to right now, though, unless you were watching it, so. And there's only two out of eight players in the queue. That's a bummer. That's a bummer, man. My FNMs have a real problem with trying to read draft single sent. Yeah, that's that's the exact thing, right? So, like, I think anyone who's like, you can't get signals on MTG Arena, I'm just like, well, you're overvaluing signals anyway. Like, signals are great, right? And if you pass a pack with one black card in it, like, if the other person took a green card, they're just going to ignore that. Like, it's just there's a lot of people who just don't know how to read signals properly or, or care to read signals properly. So, I mean, like, you're putting too much value on that if you don't see the value in, like... If I can, if I can be able to sit there and and make a a detailed explanation of why I'm picking one thing over another, and not have to worry about the time limit, or like I can, or oh hey whoa, there's an emergency. I have to go. I have to run to the bathroom, um, and I don't have to worry about finishing a 30 minute draft. Like, that's a net positive for me. Also, you're gonna be playing it on mobile too. Like, so what if like you have to get up and go? What if I, I have to leave? Dang it, I, I my 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 meeting started or like my train stopped or I have to get off the you know like. Like, there's so many life things that get in the way of a half an hour draft. I'm taking some Hydro Eyes support for dry eyes. That was recommended to me by my LASIK surgeon. I also may have to blow my nose. I might just blow my nose right now. Yeah, it's probably a thing in a top eight draft. Sure. Like if you're drafting with pros at the Pro Tour top eight, definitely, definitely read signals, man, for sure. But um uh news news flash for anyone on MTG Arena, you're not doing that. So <laughs> in case you think you are, let me inform you that you are not doing that. And to just probably it's you're like you're gonna be that guy who's like MP3 player. What's wrong with my CD player? And I'm like, well, nothing. Nothing's wrong with it. But like, that's just progress, man. You're just gonna you can either you can either follow and uh, move forward and be progressive, or you cannot. Those are your options. You can either be that old curmudgeon that sits on his lawn and doesn't want to change, or you can just change and enjoy things. Those are your choices. I think they're reasonable. I think they're reasonable choices. You need to be on a table of good poker players to actually bluff. I once got called in Vegas on an amateur table for 500 by a guy because he felt like it. That's it right there. And I'm just like, you had no idea what you were doing. You just did it because it was fun to do. Plus, like, it's hard to make signals in drafts where, like, there's rares, right? Like, I'm not going to pass you. I'll, I'll, I'll open pack to a white mythic when I'm in, like, Rakdos. And I'll pass it to you. And it's not a signal. It just means I wasn't in those colors. It's just... I guess that is a signal, though, because I'm not in those colors. But, like, the point is, like... You, okay, a valuable rare is, where, is, is more the point I'm making. Like, there's a $20 rare. You're not taking it because you're in white. You're taking it because it's money, right? So, it's just weird. <clears throat> you got a problem with my gramophone, buddy? I don't. I don't. I think I think your gramophone probably has a wonderful, a wonderful uh, acoustic sound. I think it's probably amazing. And I have no criticisms of it whatsoever. Uh, I like Biogenic Upgrade a lot. This card is super strong. But I also just like Hero of Pre-Saint 1. God, I could be Hero. Sphinx of the Guild Pack is also very good. But I'm not going to take a 7 draw for my first pick. Imperious Oligarch, nice. Consigned to the Pit. I think we can probably take Hero. It's just a, a nice 1 drop. Ooh, this is a good one. I'm surprised they sent me this. Frilled Mystic. We could take Biogenic Mutation and Frilled Mystic. Someone up there likes this. I actually like Revile Revenge a lot. You can actually get back your hero. Revenge is actually surprisingly strong in my in my experience. Being able to double your life total and how and halve how have have. I hate the word have. H a l v e. It's like such a hard word to say. It's like subtle. Sometimes people make funny like, "What are you saying? Subtle s u d d l e." And I'm like, "No, I'm not saying that." But like. Realistically, how do you say this word? Subtle? 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 It's so stupid. They're dumb words. Subtle and and halve. <laughs> I'm going to halve your life total. Have? I'm going to have your life total. Have? But then you're saying I'm going to have it. Like, I'm going to have this. I'm taking it. It's mine now. You don't have it anymore.
passing a twenty dollar rare is a signal that you're playing against Silver Spoon. <laughs> Oh, you don't need this, huh? Well, you too good? Too good for $20 bill, huh? Okay, well, must must be nice good, sir. I, however, will take it. And now I'm going to put eye drops in. So this is, a, this is really an eye health stream, guys. They were like, you should probably use eye drops and take these medicine for the first, like, 60 days after LASIK. And I'm like, that is such a long time. I don't care about you. I think we're just taking the Imperious Oligarch because I think it's probably a very, very good pick. Nothing else in this pack is really exciting anyway with our... <coughs> Moist, I have no problem with its its pronunciation or its uh, its enunciation. I just think it's a moist. Moist. Can we get some moist ASMR up in here? Would you guys like some uh, moist ASMR? Would you guys like some moist ASMR up in here? Cinder Vines. Ah, uh, Bring to Trial is okay. There's a lot of 3-3s three and 3-4s three in this set, so it gets kind of awkward. You're just like, uh, there's nothing for me to kill. But the thing about Bring to Trial is, like, you'd rather have it, you'd rather, uh, have it and not need it than need it and not have it, right? Like, that's what, that's where this card kind of fits. I'm like, well, if they have a 6-6 six, six or a 5-5, five, five, I'd rather have this and not need it at the time than need it and not have it, which I just said already, so... Uh, I do like Exposed to Daylight. That's kind of nice. Orzhov Locket's not terrible, but th this card is a card that I've always wished I had in the sideboard at every point. I'm like, oh, cool, you have one of the three broken enchantments in this format. That's nice. I'll just take this. I like a Blade Juggler. We're all on gold cards. Is Blade Juggler better than Twilight Panther? I think so. Being able to play this guy for three and then draw a card, eh, it's pretty good. I feel like uh, I'm okay with that. Oh, another Exposed to Daylight. Hmm. Like I said, a card I never mind having. I don't actually mind having two of them either because if they have like Rhythm of the Wild or High Alert, like I think this is a card you just want to be able to have. That being said, I probably will take the Guild Gate because this format seems like it wants Guild Gates more than previous formats. Does that make sense? Because how else is one to describe that, wow, this cake is very moist. You could say wet. Wow, this cake is so wet. That's probably not great there, right? Watchful Giant, I don't think I care about at all. This is a... This guy's big, but like he doesn't really do much. Where are all my gold cards at? I got two gold cards? Come on. Come on. I don't care about the two drop. I do like the two drop because it lets us get in there for the blade juggler, though. Do we just want one of these? Skitter Eel is also very, very good. This cake is basically a chicken sundae. I'm probably just going to take the prowling crackle. Crackle? Caracle? Crackle. Uh, it's a it's a crackle. Is it crackle? Crackle. If it wasn't Crackle the first time, why would it be the next 50 times? Oh, another Expose. Alright, good deal. There's a lot of good blue cards, but I feel like we're okay with this... This Orzhov deck so far. <laughs> this guy should not have come back. That's... Shocking to me. Eh, there's already skilled gate. Okay. Orzov locket. You know what? I'll put the Orzov locket in here for now. This is not a great pack for Orzov. But hopefully, all the signals we passed to our human opponents will reward us with some Orzov in turn in pack two. It won't. It won't matter. It might. Oh, the other. Ex wow, three exposed to daylights. All right. So we are well prepared for Rhythm of the Night. Hope you guys are ready. You are, because we just actually confirmed that, so. Zagana. Another Galloping Lizrog. We could take this Gate Colossus. I think Gateway Colossus. Gate Colossus is actually very, very good. 
Uh, no gold cards in this pack that we could take. We could take Law Mage's Binding. We could actually not. Like, this is these are the only three black cards we have, but we actually have no other colored cards either. So if we had a bunch of blue cards that we saw, I think we can just stick with the Gate Colossus for now and just try to pick up more on-colored gates, whatever they may be. Zagana. Zagana wish you opened another color rare, that's for sure. Yeah, that's... Oh. Huh. I'm pretty sure this is like seven tickets. Yeah, she is seven tickets. So, here's something you wouldn't do on Arena. I'm just going to take this because it's seven tickets. And, uh... Yeah. Alright, well, that pays for most of the draft. So, appreciate that. <laughs> Free Nudio, thank you so much for the for the the kind words. Really appreciate it. Shut up and take my money. Okay, one seven tickets, buck. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure that makes sense, but I think we can accept it. Hold on, let me do something real quick. Let me copy this and paste it here. And then we can do one of these jobbies. That's better. I like that. Ooh, I like clear the stage. I like clear the stage, but I wish it was more. Look at all these red cards, man. Hold on. Holy smokes, man. We got Active Trees and Rakdos Fire Wheeler, Macabre Mockery, which I don't think is very good. Flames of the Raised Board, which I think is pretty good. Rakdos Guildgate, Rakdos Roostabout, Footlight Fiend. How many, how many, how many times is the word Rakdos in this, in this pack? One, two, three, four, five, six, at least six times. There's the word, the word Rakdos appears at least six times in this pack. Huh. Well, I'm going to take the clear stage, so... We could have the double frilled mystic deck. That's I just want to I just want to be clear about that. I feel like we're definitely in the wrong colors here. And I'm getting I'm having remorse about it. I feel like we should be banned now. And I'm not I'm not okay with it. And I'm going to be honest with you, so <laughs> now you're experiencing one of the bad things about Signals, is that um, I feel like we tried to send good Orzhov Signals that, were the, that it's not open, and then like we're getting nothing back. So, like, cool. So, like, when Signals go wrong, they actually ruin your drafting experience. Like, I, I think I, it's just a funny topic, man. I'm going to take the Frilled Mystic, because I think it's one of the better cards in this pack. Or do I? I want to take the Undercity Scavenger. I'm just going to have to... I'm going to stick with this... I'm going to stick with what we're doing right now. This guy, also, if we make a token and we sacrifice it, we can make it a 5-5, which triggers our clear the stage, which I think is relevant. Noxious Grudian is nice. I think, actually, Syndicate Messenger is a little better. Sentinel's Mark is a card that's super powerful. Where are the gold cards again? I forgot. I think we'll take the Sentinel's Mark. We can probably get another Syndicate Messenger or another 4-drop for that matter. Speak of the Devil. I kind of like Senate Guild Mage, and if we get a bunch of blue cards, it's pretty easy to splash. So I'm pretty okay with that. A lot of the time I feel like after a rare arena just takes random stuff, but often that is the case when I draft in person, so I don't know how much of it. Yeah, I, I, so I'm going to be honest with you, I've done quite a few arena drafts, and I've never been like, wow, these bots are terrible. I'm having such a bad experience because of it. It just doesn't happen. I'm going to take the Senate Guild Mage. Reason being, we want more gold cards to trigger hero, and I think we actually have to go into a third color if we want that to be the case. Uh, Arrestor's Admonition is very good. It's not a gold card. We can probably take this Azorius Guild Mage. Here, one interesting thing about Magic Online is that the Guild, the guild Gate is actually stuck in the pack, whereas in Arena, it's at the very end. Oligarch, thank you. That is perfect. That is perfect. Diagraph, 22 months of sweet, sweet little baby chicken Sundays. Thank you for all the junk you do. Diagraph, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Free Nudio, thank you so much for the, for the sub. Welcome, welcome. Really appreciate the love, guys. You guys are great. 
Gateway Plaza is just the best guild gate there is. Um, I don't really want this, but maybe we're... Eh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. I don't think it's this. Well, whatever. Maybe it's this if we get, like, high alert. Even then, I don't think it's... Wow, all these came back. That's insane. Whatever. I'll take the guild gate. I don't think it's relevant, but... Simic and Gruul. Senate Courier is fine. I don't feel like they force Orzhov, but I have no way to know. So. I could take the Hazard Officer just because it's a 3-2 for 3. This card can probably win you the game, though. Yeah, it's fine. I think our deck is interesting right now. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. I have three Guild Gates. Probably want at least two more Guild Gates. Like, if this guy is cost 5 with three Guild Gates, I think we're in good shape. comical tithe taker the only thing i like about tithe taker is that it is not uh it has it has um afterlife which is pretty valuable skitter eagle is pretty good now that we are uh entertaining the blue option Could just be the two one for two that had, does have afterlife. Like I think all the afterlife two drops are very good. <clears throat> Cheese Wisp, what's going on, buddy? Could just be second gate colossus, but I don't think so. I think it's between these two. I don't care about Sphinx's insight. Like the two life. If this gave you like three or four life, I think we'd have a we'd have a contender here. But like having to cast it during your main phase to only gain two life is pretty rough. I think I'm gonna stick with the Tithe Taker just because it is a a white two drop, and I don't really feel like we have to mix up our colors to that degree. We don't have to get that crazy with our with our mana base here. Azorius Night Arbor is pretty good. Even more so if we do get like a high alert or something. Although I'm not sure if we'd play it. I don't know if we're a high alert deck by any means. Especially with mono two ones and three ones. Could just take the gate as well. I think we're just taking the gate here. Hey, Saru, thank you so much for the 15 months, really. Happy anniversary! Thanks for all the great content. Thank you so much for all the support. Really appreciate it. You are the hero we need. How many oligarchs is too many? Hmm. I mean, I'll probably take the Caracal out. Also, oligarch triggers our hero, which is very relevant. The only other card I'd take was Guildgate. We just took a, we just took a Gateway Plaza, so I think I'm okay with taking this guy. Oh, this pack's pretty bad. Shortening, shortening. Mom, a little baby loves shortening bread. Carnage, tyrant. Do, do, do. Uh, this is just carnage, not carnage. Uh, Code of Constraint's actually fine, I guess. I'm going to take Code of Constraint here. Oh, another Azorius Guild Gate. Our Arrestor's Admonition's very, very good. Especially if we play like a bunch of one drops and, and, and we're playing like a tempo deck. One, two. We have four guild gates. Can we get one more guild gate? Maybe. Demise is good. Yeah, I could see taking Demise as well. I don't think we're playing ready either. We actually need a bunch more playables, unfortunately, because, you know, which I've never felt like I had on, on MTG Arena, interestingly enough. Yeah, we'll take Grotesque Demise. I think that's fine. It doesn't draw you a card, which is my biggest issue. This is Resolute Watchdog's Uncommon. That's interesting. I'm going to take this Vampire because it's uh, another great card with Hero of Precinct 1. And uh, it's just a pretty decent guy. It trades with lots of things. Slimebind is 
decent removal. We don't have a lot of flyers though. I think you like the slime bind when you have a bunch of flyers to like really take advantage of the of the the like because you're just giving them an, uh, an X usually a zero X defender, which is hard to deal with. I think it's probably just other Senate Curry, which I'm not super excited about. Plague White's an option. <sighs> Boys that good are not common. You are incorrect. They are all good boys. Got him. I don't know what to take here. I don't think it's actually... I'll just take the slime bind because it is removal. Whereas, like, I don't care about another Senate courier. Yep, this pack is also not great. It's funny because we're in three colors right now. And we're getting packs like this which have absolutely nothing for us. I'll take the Simic Guildgate so we can easily splash our Prime Speaker Vanifar. <laughs> it's Vanifar. Oh, no. Again, nothing here. I'll just take Sphinx's Insight. Two cards is two cards still. Humungulus or Civic Stalwart. Noxious Grudion is also just fine. I don't love this deck right now, but I think it's I think it's fine. This is a lot of Titanic Titanic Brawls being passed very, very late. I do actually dislike Inheritance. That is correct. Every time I've had Inheritance, I'm like, four mana is too much for this. Like, I think you want... If you have, like, three or four Inheritances in your deck, I think you're fine. But, like, other than that, I just think it's pretty rough. Look, here's an Inheritance right now. Yeah, this is not ideal. Yeah, okay. So we've got, like, four playable Guild Gates right now. All right, 25 cards. Uh, I think all of our two drops are very good. This is being a loot effect is pretty nice. Um, I don't think we care about Senate Courier. 13 creatures though? Oh God, take the Orzhov, lock it out, leave the Senate Courier in, I guess. The problem with, with Clear the Stage is that we actually have zero uh, creatures that cost, that have four power. Like Undercity Scavenger and Gate Colossus are like the only two creatures that will actually ever have five, four, four toughness or four power or more. And I still don't understand why Ferocious is this like obscure mechanic in this format. I guess we can play Arrestor's Zeal and then clear the stage in the same turn. I have no idea how this deck is going to do. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's not ideal. It sure is one deck of magic cards. It's not great. Three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I like nine, seven, seven here. I think that's good. All right, let's do it. Oh my goodness. Look at him go. It's okay, guys. We got a prime speaker van affair. If we go two one, we're in good shape. Thank you, Kelsey. I think thank you so much for the seven zero. Hey, I woke up this morning to a reminder. I set for myself. Couldn't remember what it was, so I looked at it and saw it wasn't subscribed. Then I went to throw my fluids class and realized that it was homework assignment. <laughs> that was due. Oh, I was sad. I thought it was the. I thought it was a sub reminder. Oh my god. I'm sorry about your homework, buddy. That's sad. I laughed, but it was also sad. Alright, let's hit that swamp. Are you guys ready? This guy costs seven. It's a good deal. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> On the bright side, you did remember to resub though, so I think that's I think that's important. Alright, so this guy on two or thing I think we're just gonna play the two drop for now. Because if we draw another land, then we're on curve. There's no reason to go on curve for a potential off curve we might have. Um, whereas, we're definitely off curve if we just play this right now. 
if we draw another land, we can play this. So there's no reason to not play two drop into three drop. Because they're both two power. Like, it's not like we're getting a better... We're not getting a better creature by playing this guy. <sighs> okay. So now we have to do this. Kelsey, I think it's much for the resub, buddy. Really appreciate it. You will see me on the YouTubes. I will be there. The tubes of you. Whatever that means. Sam Black was on Twitter discussing the right number of gates for a deck with Ben Stark. They agreed somewhere around 12 to 15. 12 to 15 gates? <laughs> no, dude. No, that's not real. There's no way that's a real conversation. You had to have misread that, right, Josh? I think 2 to 5 would be would be fine. 12 to 15 is unattainable. Right? Like, that's utterly ridiculous. Am I, am I wrong? Thank you. Okay, hold on. We're linking this up. Oh, but not a top tier gate deck due to all having only nine gates. What gate counter? Okay, so like, yeah, I think that's that's a big deal. I don't think having all gates is ideal, but you want more than nine. Depends on exactly. Yeah, they're talking about a gate deck specifically, which makes a big difference. Mama's little baby loves short and short and short and short and short and short. Or an Azorius Locket. An Azorius Slocket. I guess we just play a guy here. I mean, it sucks because we have a gate. But actually, if we play a gate and hit a land, we can play Colossus next turn. Which I think is probably better than just adding two more power to the board. Adding eight power next turn with a land is probably better. We could also EOT. No, it's actually a sorcery. We could get Tithe Taker back. I think the actual second ability is probably better. I don't think we also, I also don't think we need Tithe Taker here, so. Two five? You got it. If you don't, I just actually didn't want to land, so I wouldn't have to play the, the Colossus here, but so be it. There's no reason not to attack with this, because it just gives this Vigilance. Yep, seems fine. And then we'll just play old Gatey. We'll play Colossus. It's an X-Men reference. I mean, they're probably going to have some sort of removal for it, which is whatever. Two five can't be blocked. That's okay. Yeah, we're definitely exiling this guy. We we're gonna exile this guy, but now this guy doesn't make their one one, so I'm okay with that. And we get and we get code of constraint. Wow, we just have it all. Our deck is insane. Why would you guys ever? Why would you guys ever knock this deck? Oh, does Revenge just win? Can't be blocked by creatures power two or less? It does. 
I don't know. Yeah, but that's not even like we're not even talking about. Who cares about winning, right? Like, come on. I got better things to do than win the game, man. He said before he promptly lost the game. <laughs> oh man. I won the game. See, like now, we, look now. We don't even have to show them that. We don't have to show them revenge. So, exposed to daylight. We saw nothing for exposed to daylight. We saw um, one locket, but I don't think we're actually. I, I don't find myself being super concerned with our locket. So, Yeah, they didn't really do anything worthy of revenge yet, so. Uh, do I like this hand on the draw? I think it's fine. If we get a blue, we have plays. If we get a black, we have plays. If we get Even if we get another white, we have plays, so. If we get a guild gate here, yeah, that's fine. It's not ideal because we don't get to play this until three, but it still turns on three other cards. Four, it turns on all four of these, so whatever. Because I've got a locket in my pocket. And another one is in my pocket as well. That's a little Lannis Morissette. She was thinking about lockets, I think. I don't know. She's Canadian. It's weird. But what it all comes down to, my friends. Yeah. Walk it like I talk it. See that all that reminds me of is the Aziz Ansari skit where he's like, kind of like making fun of that. That's hilarious though. All right. Well, now we got some things. We got some action here. We're going to be at negative 76 with the wind chill on Wednesday night. I wish I... Oh, that doesn't even sound real. That doesn't sound like a, a real temperature that the Earth can actually get to. Um, So I'm pretty sure you just made that up. I don't think that's a real temperature. And I just... I'm, I'm, I guess I'm more curious why you would lie about that. Because, you know, that seems like a sick joke that you're you're just playing on us right now. Since you were sponsored by MeUndies, do you prefer boxers, briefs, or the middle ground? I actually prefer boxers. I know a lot of people are, are switching to boxer briefs, but I'm just a, I'm just a boxer guy. Good question. Solid question. Also, MeUndies are super comfortable, and uh, they send me free things, and I wear them. My coworkers are in Chicago being told to work from home on Wednesday. Dear God. Is that a record? That has to be some kind of record, right? Like, I can't imagine that's a regular temperature. Like, even in the winters, that that's ridiculous, right? Oh, I like Guild Mage followed. Wow, Guild Mage is actually great here. We get to draw so many cards. You know, not now, but in the future, perhaps. Negative 76. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, man. When it drops from 80 degrees to, like, 40 degrees, that's a 40-degree difference. It's freezing to me. So when it drops from 40 to, to 0, another 40-degree difference, that also feels like it'd be freezing. And then when it drops from, from 0 to negative 40, that feels like it's un, unlivable. And then, 
And then when it goes from negative 40 to negative close to 80, how is that a real thing? I, I got to tell you, this all sounds fake to me. This all sounds like big climate. Okay, so we're probably not going to discard a card here. Uh, we're probably just going to play Senate Courier and pass. Um, because this we'd have to use this, so we can't play. A, oh, I guess we can play Swamp and then discard. Yeah, that actually seems better. Let's do that. I just wanted to get a creature down, and we can get an oligarch down. Which is funny, because we're probably going to draw Hero of Tides. So let's draw first. If we hit Hero... Not Hero of Tides. Hero of... Uh, you know, I don't know what his name is. After negative 40, you can't really tell because you're dead. <laughs> yep, that's uh, that sounds about right. Every future land is just going to be... Oh, are you going to do something? Are you going to do something? Wow, that's rude. Can you imagine if we had this in hand first? They wouldn't have been able to play that. That would have been gas. Yep, as usual. Shut up and take my money. <sighs> Might as well spend it before I freeze to death. Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> oh, Lord. We have a good time. Guess I'll just play six drop here. And you're going to quench it. You know, absorb it? Oh, they can't do it because we have Tithe Taker. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, the gasoline is real. Wow, dude. See, Ty Taker just did his job. He just did his work. What just happened there? Did they play Gateway Plaza? Okay, cool. So they have one, two, three, four, five. They presumably have Absorb in hand. That would be my that would be my guess. Sure. A bold strategy, Cotton. That's a yikes for me, dog. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't really feel like we have a reason to play the gate. See, the thing is, like, we have seven mana already, so if we play... Uh, if we draw a Gate Colossus, we can still cast the Gate Colossus and still have a way to get it back if they kill it. So we're in a position where like we just don't need the life or the 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 gate in play. So instead we're gonna play Grudian and Senate Courier. <laughs> the 
Yep, taking four, going down to a 24. I don't know why you're not, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do people not know they can give this vigilance? Like, I don't understand why you wouldn't keep a four, four blocker back. That doesn't really make sense to me. Oh, that is a, what's known as a three, two. So, or a two, two rather. So I'm not super, uh, I'm not super threatened by you. Well, now we get another guild gate. Now we're probably gonna play the gateway plaza. So I have to assume one of your cards is a counter spell. So. I don't really want you to trade here though, right? So I guess you're probably gonna block here. We're already in blocks. They could have actually used this to untap this guy as well, but they didn't do that either. Sure. All right. Well, now that we've seen Sky Tether and High Alert, we're definitely uh, bringing at least one expose, if not two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven lands. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. All right. Well, six lands left. Yeah, I feel like they're eventually going to be onto this untap trick. T minus four weeks until the tax returns, then comes the Warp World deck. Oh, Alistair Kane, that sounds sick, dude. Let's do it. I'm excited about that. Modern and Warp World. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't feel like we have profitable attacks here. Like, if they block, block. Like, I'm just going to pass. Like, I can't keep assuming they don't know about it. So, like, it's just... Once they do, it's just such a blowout. Did we see any counter spells? Were they trying to mortify last turn instead of uh no, they had to be a counter spell, right? Because they did it in response to this. This guy wasn't on board and they tried to hit they try to pay three. Like I, I assume it's absorb. If it's absorb, like we're in pretty bad shape because we just don't have anything to deal with that. But if it's like if they counter our Colossus and then we get to play Gildegate afterwards, it's pretty decent. <sighs> oh, Alistair Kane, I remember. I remember. We emailed about it. I remember. And of course we have no four power guys, but uh, maybe in the future. Hey, they gave it vigilance. Look at that. They did it. <laughs> it is a real thing. Why do I have this song stuck in my head now? 
This hawk needs to go. Let's try to clear the stage, see if they counter it. I, I imagine they will. I'll try to get this guy back, which we're not going to because it doesn't actually exist. Yep. Absorb. Oh, Thought Collapse. Same thing. Sure. Sphinx's Insight, a Grotesque, and a land. Okay, so... Well, one less land in our deck, but now they have one less counter spell, one fewer counter spells that they. And we're just going to draw something good. That is not it. <sighs> Senate Courier. <laughs> yeah, that's a good card. Is it though? Yeah, I don't know. Did they not crack it? Is it activated abilities? Oh my god, gas. They, they missed it again. That's great. Tithe has got them at least twice. Well, it might not win us the game. It's still nice to know it exists. I don't actually hate that. That could be good. Let's see if this is any good. Oh. Uh, put you on top. Put you on top, I think. Uh, I should have gave Vigilance, but then they can just block. I mean, they're going to eat at least one of these guys, but I don't have blockers for this, so we can go back up to 16. Yeah. Why would you untap this instead of just giving it Vigilance? Like, I don't understand that. Like, you'd rather just pay four than two, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. That's weird. I was like, so you're blocking the 1-1 one, one with the... With the one one instead of the two one with the one one. Huh. You're just going to four? Wow. Okay. Fascinating. We're just going to chump block here. And hope you don't have a th another counter spell, I guess. Oh, wow, it worked. <laughs> So they can untap this guy, they have four blockers, and they just keep the 1-1. The one, one. Like, so they go 5-5 five, five on 5-5. Five, five. Puts them to 1. I mean... This is whatever. Like, we can't block their flyers except with one creature. And if they block any of these guys, uh, we get floater, floaty boys. And we're at 16, so I think this is fine. Yep, that was a, that's fine. I also want to get rid of this 5-5 five five before they start attacking with it. Because, yep, that is also fine. Completely fine. All of these are fine. You got one. And then we have 
two flying attackers. So both of these are lethal. All right. You have to play two creatures here. Or deal with two of our creatures. And you didn't play a second creature last turn. And Revenge does it again. Wow, I didn't think we were going to win this game. I thought we were going to have to board into some exposed to daylights. Okay, well, magic is a hard game. That you sometimes win when you when you don't lose. I don't know what that means. Okay, well, we're having a good time. That was actually a very good game. I was actually surprised at... Uh, I was surprised at how that went. That was not how I expected things to go. Always had high hopes for a minute. Why do I have this song stuck in my head? I really wish I didn't. Is this Panic at the Disco? Do we keep this hand? I don't know. I don't think so. Six drop, six drop, four drop. Yeah, we're going to mulligan. This is not that much better. We really don't want that. We want things we can play and blue manas. Panic Disco is a decent band, although the earlier stuff is... That's, that's actually where I'm at now. Where I'm like, you know what? This isn't terrible, but I like your... Your, your earlier stuff was definitely better. beautiful god how are we so good at this game top deck island and then we're probably in amazing shape i'll take a gate if i have to if you absolutely need to give me a deck magic online i'll understand there's something oddly refreshing it feels like it feels like home right like it feels like it feels comfortable i get that i'm so tired of aeromonculuses you know all right so you got to be a little little jerk about it that's fine i said i'd take it i accept I hope they do nothing next turn but buff this guy, and I hope they do it after combat. I hope they accidentally go to go to damage, then they buff it, and then they feel, oh no, I, I made a mistake. I don't think I don't think strategic planning means shimmer, shimmer, and poss shimmer of possibility is what you mean, um, which is just the impulse at sorcery speed. They did not do anything. Uh, let's play Courier, actually. You're going to counter my 1-4? I dare you. You can't frill Mystic it, so that's good. It seems just worse than Anticipate. Um, I don't think it's just worse. Like, it's four cards instead of three cards, right? So you're looking one deeper. So it's not like... They're not super comparable. Sure. Wow, three, three spells. Yeah, seems good. Well, that guy's pretty good. Eh, I guess this guy's fine. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, I think Anticipate is better. I agree with you. Which I, which is why I don't think Shimmer of Possibility will see much play.
Well, it's turn six, so we don't need a fourth land, a fifth land, or a sixth land, unfortunately. I'll buff my arrow monculus. You got it. You got it, friendo. You gotta, you gotta win in eight minutes before I have to go get my kids. Okay, well, I'll see what I can do. Wow, Humungulus is really obnoxious. Counterspell. I mean, they waited like 10 minutes before they let this resolve, so... I'm, yeah, obviously, we're just done here. I feel like we'd. there's no way we can really get through this nonsense, like... cool <laughs> oh i also have that card and mine will resolve because i'm not an idiot <laughs> yep seems good Mom says don't give up it's a little com it's a little complicated don't give up Look at me, I'm gonna gain three life. What do you what can you even do about this? Nothing. Actually I have a third counter spell, you see. Oh my. Oh my. Look how aggressive we're being. I haven't watched this during the last few days. Same thing, turn eight, three lands. <laughs> oh, Travis, it's good times, buddy. It's always good times. Always a pleasure. Yep, I'm just gonna go to the next game because this is uh, this is what's known as not fun. So I'm gonna gonna move on. We're gonna we're gonna move on. I'm going to take out the Bring Trial and bring in the Ill-Gotten Inheritance. I feel like something that just sits on the board and does things long-term is nice. At least they gave you a Frog Lizard. Yeah, you always got to look on the silver lining there. That's nice. Oh, I am playing 40 instead of 41. Yeah, I should have just thrown in the bring to trial. I should just left it in there. I think you're I think you're onto something here. Or Zav Laka would also be decent just to actually draw out of these uh <laughs> Oh yes, sup cutie. <laughs> we have a good time. All right. Well, we're waiting. And here we see the poor in his natural habitat being stuck on three lands and still managing to make a game of it. Uh, watch, folks, watch. Will he ever get that fourth land? Try as he may. 
I don't think so. It looks like it might be futile, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, watch him struggle. Watch him go. He sure is making a go of it, isn't he? The tenacity of the little one. I will play first because that's what you do. You know what? This hand is great. I'm going to keep it and I'm going to I'm going to hold it and I'm going to love it. You made that joke so much better than I did. Well, you know, I you you really put the So that's the thing. I'm not an idea man. I'm an improvement man. So I'm like, "Hey, give me an idea and I'll work on it." I think those are different kinds of people, right? And I'm the kind of person who's like, I, I don't like coming up with the ideas on my own, but I do like improving them once they're out there. So I try to do that. Oh, now we're just playing that guy. I'm not going to block this because of the flyer. Shut up and take my money. One idea man, Buck. <laughs> oh, good times. If you're when you're when you're in the wilds of the of the MTGO, the elusive Lepore hunts for the lands he needs to survive the winter. For some, this winter may be the last. Oh, look at him go. He's putting his 2-1 to the into what's known as the red zone, you see. Oh, it's it's brutal. It's this is what's known as a blowout in nature. He gets to block with his little flying duelist. Oh, the poor was never meant for this kind of condition. Yep, that was good times. When is the next cube and when does it start? Isn't that the same? I think that's the same question. I'm pretty sure you mean, what is the next cube and when does it start? <laughs> okay, there you go. There you go. Uh, I actually don't know. Probably like a month or so. Like, they, they're usually pretty consistent about them, so. Hmm. Well, you clearly have no soul. Who is your QB and what does he do? That's literally what I thought, Josh. I literally got that kindergarten cop. I was like, I like it. Well, now we have four lands. Unprecedented. Unprecedented, ladies and gentlemen. If you look if you look closely right now, you can see Lepore, and he has more lands than he's ever had in his life. You know, many Lepores don't think they'll make it to the fourth land. It's a rare thing in nature, but here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You know what? I'm just going to draw two here. It's like the perfect moment. There were no lands. <laughs> no lands to be had. Okay, we're having a good time. Everybody having a good time here? Okay, we're doing good. I guess I'll block. You don't have six, so I'm going to block here, obviously. Seems fun. Ah, oh, the accent is on point as well. Fantastic, fantastic news. If you're looking for some Attenborough ASMR, well, you've come to the right place, ladies and gentlemen. I'll just play Oligarch. I don't want to throw one of these guys down and have them countered. This is definitely frilled mystic territory, so... Oh, 
Oh, all right. Yeah, okay. Let me just play Sentinel's Mark here. That voice puts me to sleep so easily, it's amazing. Almost as good as Carl Sagan's voice. Billions and billions. We are one among millions. Floating through the cosmos. I want the lifelink over at 18. I think it's just better trick. It is better trick, yes. Uh, yes. Yes, it is. I feel like the deck is also very, very good. Billions and billions. Oh, Bob Ross is also super soothing. Yeah, Bob Ross is great to fall asleep to. Oh my god, Kerwitz sent me a link and I have no idea what it is. So I'm really, I'm reluctant to open it. Good thing I just watched that National Geographic. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Family Guy skit where the fire truck is hunting, and and, and that's that's what, it's pretty nice. Let's kill this guy. Oh, and then they're like, pump it, and I'm like, all right, I got tricks for days. We're we're good. I literally fell asleep and just woke up to you guys talking about soothing voices. Yeah, that's how we do. There's no way you're making me trade here, right? There's no way. Thank you. Yoakum, 59 months in a row in a row. That is longer than you are old. That is a good that is that is a thing. That is a real thing. That is real. My god. Buddy, it is always a pleasure to see you. I wish me a happy birthday the other day. I hope you guys are wonderful. Uh yeah, okay. This plays around Quench, and it also plays around Frilled Mystic. And they have two cards. And we don't have to waste this yet, because this is still three power. <sighs> I'm crying out loud. The old Triple Fairy Duelist deck. Oh my god. Super annoying. O three and one four. Well, you don't get to kill anything, I guess. So that's cool. Lost that suit of mill four counter spell, literally milling all of my reigning rule in the deck. It's mill three, I think, but yeah, that's still pretty obnoxious. Yeah, I don't know how we're. I don't know what clear here attacking for three means. Probably just sacking this to play five five.
I don't actually want either of these. If we happen to draw more lands, we draw more lands. Big deal. If we don't, okay. How much how much popcorn here's a here's a chat interaction for you how much popcorn is too much for a dog dog is supposed to drink blood and eat meat and organs okay well that's something totally normal totally normal interaction take one two three four we go to eleven they have one card in hand, but they have like four different abilities on board. <laughs> I don't know why you didn't attack with this and like, what, this costs like six? Just attack with this, attack for five? I don't understand any of these attacks. You're at 18. I would have just alpha here and then pumped whatever I blocked. I have one mana up. Some very strange decision making here. I don't understand what's going on, but you know, what do I know? Unfortunately, both of these are threatening to me. And we can't play this and this in the same turn, which is unfortunate. Lotech, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Or is it Ioteca? I can't tell if that's an L or an I, but I apologize if I'm wrong. Although I said it both ways, so I suppose... Yeah, we're just going to gain some life here. Unless their last card is literally like, bounce your guy or tap your guy, in which case it's sad. I could see them blocking with Skate Wing, but... Low Tekka, thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Lotika? Is it Lotika? Oh my god. There's no there's no way we're not there's no way we're coming back from this. Like Frank, you're constantly asking, what do I know? And I do not know the answer to this question. That's okay. That's okay. <clears throat> it's sad that you got, I got like, I got more than four subs today. I think I got like 10 subs today and we're still at 470. I don't understand how it works. Uh, I don't claim to understand how it works. I just sit here and try to enjoy the ride as I go bankrupt. <laughs> I'm going to mulligan this hand because he can't play anything. And I'm going to keep this hand because despite being very similar to the last hand, it doesn't have an 8 drop in it. So I guess that's where we're at right now. Oh, God. I would be fine if I had a black source in my hand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Black source? Nope, you are not a black source. All right, well, this is this is going to be our downfall, unfortunately. Avid Fiction, thank you for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Been following since TCG? Yeah, that's a good amount of time. I appreciate that. Whenever a creature opponent controls becomes tapped, if it isn't being declared as an attacker, you may draw a card, and that's interesting. Of course we draw the one creature that we want to tap every single turn. Yeah. Yeah, like you do. Well.
Is it me? Am I doing something wrong? Like, am I just playing magic incorrectly? For this sad and unlucky Lepore, it shall be a long and brutal winter indeed. <laughs> it's from turn two, he was already struggling to catch out for... F Come on. All right, we're bringing in two exposed to the days here. This is just ridiculous. Oh, he hit a third land. Can you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? A third land. Oh, wow. It truly is a miraculous day. His opponent does not seem to have anything at the moment, except for two very curious enchantments. Oh, look at your little brush strider. Isn't it adorable? What a little cutie indeed. Open in the gates. All right, well, sometimes you need to say, sometimes you're like, you know what, I got, uh, I got four different lands, I'm gonna fifth land here, okay. I wish, I sure wish we had a black mana at this point. What kind of tricks does our opponent have in store for us today? That is our question. Oh, it's going to be some nonsense. Now we're bringing in all of the exposed to daylights, you see. Do I just I do I just do I just block here and then arrest her zeal? They have three cards. Not arrest her zeal, but sentinel mark, I think, is what we're I feel like if you ever watch a nature documentary without narrators or music, you'd just be like, all right, this is kind of boring. The first time you watched one, you'd be like, eh, okay, I, I've misunderstood. I've, I've underestimated the, the, uh, tap target creature without flying. Uh, sure. You got it. A classic two for one. If I ever saw one, so we can attack for a million right now. We're going to have to do this because oh, Jesus, really? I feel like we were doing pretty good. Ah, oh, the old casual seven seven uh seven 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 seven. seven. Ah, 
now upon drawing his fourth land, his fourth elusive land, this little Laporte is now stuck drawing only the lands he doesn't need. Have you ever seen such a thing, ladies and gentlemen? Truly astonishing. Nature is so amazing. You got trample? Sure, you know what? I'll go to three. Well, fashionable lady to the party. Unfortunately, this only puts us to five, so we're pretty much dead here. Three, four, five, six. Wow, we were so close to killing them. Yep, all right. Not going to do it. Okay, so I'm going to take out the Grotesque for an Exposed to Daylight. I'm going to take out... I'm just going to add another Exposed to Daylight. Just to, you know, seems, seems good. Just going to do this. I don't even care. Oh, I don't know if Mike would have that good of a David Attenborough voice or that good of narration. No offense to Mike, I just don't think it's... I don't think it would be uh, in his best nature. It was. It's. I don't think it's not his best nature, but uh, I don't think it's in his skill set. Land? Eight drop. Like you do. There's some there's some marks on my seal on my my wall up there, and I hope they're not bugs. Oh boy, now yeah, well we'll check after this. We're almost done. We almost got our good one two going here. Boy, I started the ceiling for way too long, didn't I? I was like, you guys got to see my my Adam's apple for way too long there. Mhm. Mm cool. I'm having a good time. So, I mean, is it possible that we can attribute any of these losses to Mana Screw, or how's that working? They're not like, it doesn't look like they're moving. Oh yeah, those are definitely ants. Thank oh, fuck. You. Well, it's gonna be one of those days again, guys. Good times. Third land. Close enough. The third tail. Thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. You are great. Yeah, probably going to deal with this after this match, and then uh, maybe I'll stream a little bit later. But uh, for now, I just have to hate my life. Do we have any way to deal with this? Not really, I guess. I'll keep that. No attacks into the 3-5. Yeah, so for those who don't know, this is actually the third time I've had to deal with uh, a surplus of ants in the past two years that we've been here. I'm still kind of hoping that it's not what that is, but I have no idea. There's just a lot of spots, and I'm pretty sure it's ants. I'll check it out after this round. Yeah, all right. Well, that was an interesting choice. What? 
one, two, so this guy costs six, so. Uh, the problem is the landlord doesn't even isn't even responsible for pest control. We are so, and we do have every three months. I have people coming out to to treat for them. Yep, rhythm of the wild. Well, we use one exposed to daylight. The problem is each each time it's been like a different kind of ant. Like there's been multiple different kinds of ants. Like some are super small, some are crazy, some are what's known as crazy ants. These actually look right in the middle of those two. I literally can't see them though. I mean, they're super far away, so. I could have been wrong. I could they could just be some dirt that just fell from the ceiling and landed on my wall. I don't think that's what it is. And of course, now that I see them, I'm like having to look everywhere else and wondering like how far have they reached today? It's a whole thing. It's a whole to-do, guys. Yep, lawmakers, thingamajig. So you are now down to five, huh? That seems good. Oh, there you go. That's uh, that's uh, that'll gain you some life every turn. I I have regularly had my own nature special going on in my room. It is uh, exhausting to say the least. Oh, excellent creature, power four or greater. Last game they didn't control a single power, uh, a single creature with power four or greater. Now they have neither neither creature has power four or greater. I don't understand. Uh, I don't know if there's any dangerous ants where I live. Actually, I'm not sure. It doesn't look like they're moving though. Yeah, they're probably moving. I just can't see their movement. The funny thing is, like, my situation is, like, if I didn't just happen to look up right now, I might not have noticed them. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are one minute shy of playing two things. One, two, three. We have five creatures. Well, two things, I mean, Watchful Giant and one other thing. We can still play Noxious Grudian and kill this guy. Oh, using my laser eyes to incinerate them is actually a pretty good strategy. I'm actually quite okay with that. Let's see if they know about the Vigilance. Or the Reach, rather. They probably do, but this doesn't really hurt anything, so. Yep, okay, just checking, just checking.
I keep forgetting that I can actually interact here. Odd. Yeah, me too. You and me both. You and me both. Yep, had a feeling that would be a land. So they have three blockers. They have one, two, three, four, five, six. They have so many... Uh... This card's pretty problematic against us because they can just discard their, their chaff. <coughs> we are at 41, though. Oh, they're just going to gain life. Okay. Seems good. Searching. That's it. That's fine. That is just fine. Three blockers. One, two, three. So they block the biggest three things. Three, three, and two. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They can gain two more. I think it's just alpha time here. We're just going to alpha. Math is for blockers. Eh. So they blocked a two, a three, and then I guess they block a three and give it death to... Oh, no. Okay. So they take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They'd be dead. So they gotta have a removal spell. They have three cards. <sighs> they still don't look like they've moved. What if I'm absolutely crazy and it's just nothing? It's probably nothing. It's probably not nothing. It's never nothing. After this, I'm going to pause the stream for a little bit, and then I'm going to pull my desk forward and climb up behind the wall and see what it is. It'll probably take me about five, ten minutes. But I'd be taking a break anyway in between. Jana, what's going on, buddy? I was scared without your guidance. What are we playing? Oh my god, that is no not the right way to play white and blue together, or is it? <laughs> Alright, well, let's pay your costs. Yep, make sure you kill something relevant. That's good. Oh, they can't gain life here? I guess that doesn't matter. They also can't death touch this guy, but that doesn't matter either, so. They go to three, we get an after boy. Well, being at three is not terrible for them. The problem is we have to commit two extra power to the board every turn, or else they just go block, block, block. They take one, two, and then they also gain two, so they actually go back to three. Yeah, like, we're not in a position to actually overwhelm them, unfortunately. Gaining two life a turn is pretty busted. And of course we talk our grotesque thing out. Man, magic is hard, guys. I think if they if like they finished this guy, we'd actually be able to swing for like three a turn. Because we could throw these guys out for sure. That's a yikes for me, dog. Uh, we could send the 2-2 Death Touch, but it wouldn't keep the life to live, and they'd probably just block with Twilight Panther and trade. I mean, that's what I would do. 
We can try next turn, though, because I guess getting Panther off the board is fine. Like, you're trading one for one. They discard two lands from this, so I assume they drew four spells. Four seven's pretty good. This is actually nice because it's a way to get the Gate Colossus off the board. Bottom you and uh, top of you. I don't actually know who we win this game. I guess we could deck them, but I, I feel like they're going to win before them. We're at 41, though. <sighs> Am I crazy? I gotta, hold on. Let me, I'm going to use the zoom on my phone to see if that actually... For all my LASIK... Nope, I have no idea. I don't see a ton of them. It seems like there's ten of ten there's ten spots on my wall. Like scattered out throughout the whole wall. I don't know, man. It's also been raining a ton recently. Like yesterday it rained for like twenty four hours straight, so it makes me wonder if like the rain uh I feel like the rain always agitates them and they're like, Oh, we need to find shelter. So they actually they're in the house more often when it rains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can block with everything and then they just go kill like one, two. They kill all of these. Sure. Man, if you guys thought one, two, twelve, I Twilight Panther was good. Wait till I see the 2-3 the Panther. I haven't yet mastered the zoom on my laser eyes yet, unfortunately. I haven't mastered uh, any of the heat or, or, or cold vision as well. So, I don't know. They say it takes a while. I get that. It's going to rain every day. It's Florida. It's Florida. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... And, of course, you have a frilled mystic in your fucking gate deck. Cool. Oh, wow. And, and it has Riot. <laughs> hilarious, dude. Oh, utterly hilarious. Where is your 8-8? In the trash can. I kind of just want this game to end because, A, I don't feel like we have a great shot at winning, and, B... Uh, I kind of want to see what's going on up here, but everything I've seen is in the same position though. I'm, maybe I'm just being crazy. I could literally just be crazy right now. I have no idea. Oh, that's cool. That's a big guy. Seven, seven, haste. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Block everything. We lose four, five, six, seven, eight. We get to keep one guy. Yeah, so this is where we were, basically. We're just trying to out... Like, we're trying to wait for them to uh, play all their big stuff, but it, we just, we're just we just not drawing anything but lands. So, land! Oh, all right. Code of Constraint. Let's Code of Constraint you. I was so inspired by the shenanigans that you and Mike and Swole Mike got up to in the vintage queue, I decided to do my own. Nice! That's good stuff, man. All right, well, let's get three points in there. 
which is actually just one point due to your due to your guild gate, due to your your guild mage. Random question: but If the heroes of Marvel were made into magic cards, which would be planeswalkers and which would be legendary creatures? Oh, that's a great question! Wow, that's a great question. Oh my god, how are they not all planeswalkers? That's my question. Like, because I think I feel like the, the superhero origin story is where you get your spark, so to speak, right? Like, um, so Spider Man, like when he was bit by a radioactive spider, that was when his spark emerged. Uh, when Doctor Strange became the Sorcerer Supreme, that's when his spark emerged. When he got the Eye of Agamotto. Um, you know, when Bruce Banner was bombarded by cosmic rays, that's when his spark emerged, right? Like, so I feel like it's a, it's, <laughs> yeah, we're having a good time. You have trample? No. All right. That's cool. I'll block. Oh, it can't be blocked by this guy anyway. So I guess I'll just block here. All right, cool. And they still have enough mana to just replay their spider, so. Hawkeye, I could see as a legendary creature. There you go. There you go. So it would be a distinction between, like, superheroes and regular regular heroes, right? Like, so you'd have, like, Hawkeye, Black Widow. They would probably be legendary creatures. Whereas anyone who had, like, this moment, this, like, supernatural moment where they, 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 they leveled up, so to speak, where they became more powerful, those would probably be the characters that have, that are planeswalkers, right? I don't think there's anything in our deck that really helps us. And a swamp, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I don't think a swamp is one of the cards that's going to. This card is just pretty busted. I, I don't think this card is actually reasonable and, and limited. Um, but anyway, we're going to just scoop here because their board is way too good for our 3-1-1s one and our 1-4. One and they actually didn't play their spider, so that's kind of interesting. But either way, I thank you guys for watching. Unfortunately, we did a, we did a, we did a good old-fashioned 1-2 here on uh, Magic Online. But, um, you know, we're still learning. I think we're still learning this Ravnica Legions draft format. So we'll, we'll try to do a little better next time. And hopefully, hopefully you guys are still enjoying it either way. Thank you guys so much. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. Links are in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time.